Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our first episode of All Hiding Spots for Weld's Edge. This episode is going to be covering just common houses you find all around the map. Because it's not a specific location, we're just going to be doing the inside hiding spots and not the outside of these buildings because those spots can change depending on the location that building is in. Now, something I do want to note to everyone watching, this is not to encourage excessive camping. I like doing these videos because one, it increases map awareness for the community the average player that watches my videos that also too allows you to get more strategical outplays perhaps you want to just do a quick heal this free with crypto it allows him to have more places to hide while he uses his drone Four, this helps with ranked especially in those end circles and five this raises awareness to these spots in case respawn don't actually want it and they want to fix it themselves so other than that we're going to jump straight into it i hope you enjoyed like comment subscribe hit the notification bell especially and let's do it so we're going to start off at the geyser because we have every type of these research environment research facilities basically and i'm going to be honest with you these do not have a lot of hiding spaces these style of location probably have the least out of all of them as you can see there's barely any nooks or crannies or anything you can really get in or hide on top of so yeah in terms of this little area there's nothing in terms of these buildings though we do have a few now these on either side are basically symmetrical so it doesn't matter which one we go in we're gonna go in this way definitely pick that up but in here is free so if you're hiding from someone coming in that direction i would advise getting on top of here now you can do that on both sides obviously but you can also get on top like this you can get on some of these archways it can be a bit tricky here and there and to be honest you stand out quite a bit but if someone's just rushing through there's a chance they might just go like this not really even look up so yeah that's a that's a very risky spot but i thought i'd point it out because it's cool that you can get on the beam now the third one is just here and you can actually get on top of this this is probably the strongest hiding spot in the room because this beam here is hiding you from people coming that way as well a little bit anyway we're gonna move on to the next one which is the main entrance style of building this is where you can see the environment research center and in this style you see this a lot at the dome the, these rooms don't have anything there's there's not really anything but there is one spot that you could use to outplay your opponents which is directly on top of here because as you can see you there's a lot of defensive spots it's not defensive but you can hide behind it so as people run past you can go to one side it's pretty nifty right so this time we're at the drill site as you can see and we've got these yellow and gray construction light buildings and yeah these have got quite a few hiding spots so starting off with this very small basic building you'll notice that there isn't actually anywhere that you can hide inside here the only place i might recommend every now and then is a cheeky little strap is up here as they're coming like up the ladder or something you just back over to here the next one is this bunk bed like area so in the bottom room as you can see there's not much in the really uh in certain areas when it's really dark you can like crouch up here and i have had people just run straight past and go out that way when you come upstairs though in here so it doesn't seem like there's any way you can hide and usually you can't get inside these bunk beds but because there's a bit a gap at the top you can you can actually get in you can scope out what's going on all around you and yeah i've had so you'll probably see footage throughout this video where people just constantly run past me here we have like the little spanner engineer house and what what are these buildings called the communications okay so these are like communication buildings and there's no spots out in this garage area you can actually be really devious and hide down here a lot of people will just walk straight past you there and there's no way you can hide in here and i'm sorry about the storm but we're finishing off this little housing segment now but you can get on this little platform here how sick is that so many people just walk straight underneath you and are like nope no one's here carry on walking around and you're up here the entire time and i'm pretty sure 
You can get up there as any legend if you've got a bit of skill. There we go. Bit of skill. And we're up here as any legend. So now we've got what appears to be like a single living area. It's just like a single house kind of thing. And there's two hind spots in this room. So first of all, again, you've got the classic bathroom. I kind of... my. Pathfinder ass couldn't fit through the door then. You get a bit stuck on this ledge sometimes. Be careful of that. And the next one is on top of here. I'm fairly sure you're not supposed to because they've put invisible walls everywhere else. But you can get just on this bit here. And like so. As you can see, we are nestled up here pretty safely. So as long as no one spots us coming up the stairs, we're going to be able to get some good shots in the back. And there's a chance. Like, people just won't spot you at all. They'll come up and be like, oh, there's no one here, and go back down. So by far my favourite yellow and grey communications building, and probably my favourite building on the entire map, is the cafeteria. This place is chock full of hiding spots. And we're going to start in the back pantry room. I'm guessing this is some kind of food storage area, even though they've got no refrigerators um but first of all you can climb up here no pathfinder needed this is a really cheeky hiding spot a lot of people don't know about this yet now you can go up another level on top of these red boxes but be warned people through the windows can see you if they happen to look but it is like an essential god mode hiding spot for anyone that doesn't know about it and comes into this room Thirdly, you can also get up on top of here. This is very cheeky for getting those headshots in on people coming in the room. And then if you've got some skilled parkour skills, oh, which I don't, you can actually jump onto this one as well. You can't get up onto here. There's like an invisible force field, as you can see. I'm just wall climbing there. Um, but you can get up here, which is another, again, very cheeky spot. You're all, it looks like you're almost invisible when you hide behind it. But there is a small gap there that you can see and shoot them through. So this room is brilliant when you want to get the whole team ready to ambush someone, especially on ranked. Now in the kitchen, you can get up onto this blue beam. This is probably the most OP hiding hiding spot in the entire room. Like no one's going to really look up here. You just got to be careful that people don't see your legs or something when they're running through this way. Now up on this blue bar you can get all the way along. So up to here where I am now and you can go all the way along behind this lighting system. But this light will probably light up your feet a bit so I would advise sticking to the corners because as you can see it does light up the pole. Now as we make our way into the cafeteria eating area you can get on top of this corner section of the yellow and black pole. You can grapple up but if you got some parkour skills which I didn't last time you can just climb up like so you can't get onto this bit but you can get here and you can climb around gently and get onto this bit the furthest you can go is into like that corner but you can't get properly on that pole it's just that little 90 degree corner angle there however you can get on the back of this bit and this is a very good hiding spot here and you can go all the way along here and get on either side that's uh, pretty much all of it in the cafeteria it's chock full of hiding spots so how you use them depends on the situation at the time right so first of all we're gonna go to this small proteus building proteus there i think that's how you pronounce it and uh this is like a, a dining hall lunch cafe type area and to be honest the lower floor no no hiding spots so let's quickly move on from there and you'd think with how open this is there'd be no hiding spots but i have found the sneakiest, the sneakiest of spots. Look at this. You can get on the windowsill. All the way around. This is like sneaky next level stuff. If they're coming up those stairs, you can be like, boom, duh, uh, up here, wait for them to pass you and then shoot them in the back. And then vice versa, if they come up here, you can climb up onto this one. Like so. And when they come up, you can just shoot them in the back. Or you can keep an eye on just the pit in general. Poop, poop, poop. Now that was the Proteus Cafe. And this is the Proteus Design Offices. Got a reception down here. And there is absolutely nothing. So don't even bother trying. It's all outside building stuff here. Excuse me, I'm trying to record a freaking video. Don't take that. So moving on, we have the medical labs. 
if we make our way in here and block this door with the caustic trap, and block that door with the caustic trap, and block that door with the caustic trap, we should be able to get on with this. I I'm really sorry. Oh, I suppose I'll quickly revive you. I'm trying to record a video. Right, so, ground floor, as you can see, nothing in here on the first floor, or, well, actually, yeah, so look, we'll do it American style, level two, this is level two. So level two, there is really nothing. You can try and hide behind these, but it's very, very exposed. Not much you can do. Perhaps get on here and try and blend in. That's about it. You can try and get up on here like so, and then you've got this really cool hiding spot here where not many people are going to look up in this corner, especially when you're crouched like this. And you can even hide inside the actual like crates here. Pretty handy. We have the official medical labs, and no, there is nothing here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the medical labs. I should probably help them now. So next up, we're going to move on to Upmark. This is the name of this little so like supermarket area. So yeah, in this uh, bottom floor, the chances of you being able to hide anywhere is very slim because there's nowhere that I could find. Uh, <laughs> as always, if you find any spots yourself that I failed to let people know about, let me know in the comments. Now, this room, we do have some. This is on the second floor, and you can get on top of these. It's um, kind of like, well, what am I doing? It's kind of pointless here, which is why you can see I haven't practiced. But on this one, this one is useful for people coming in that direction. I doubt anyone coming in is gonna like think there's someone in that corner. Like you're literally above that platform there. So chances are your head's probably sticking in the ceiling a little bit. Now on the third floor, we don't really have anything much except for a little uh, ledge you can get on here for anyone coming around that side to get first shot on them. Other than that, there's nothing really in this room. You can get up here, um, so for people coming inside, like from the stairwell. And now we've gotten to the top floor of the inside of the building. We're going to show the stairwell because there's some sneaky things inside this stairwell. For instance, you can get inside this little shelf. This is the only shelf I have found on the entire map that you can get on, um, I think. There may be some more in later hiding spot videos, but for now, this is the only one I can remember. So this is a really cool hiding spot, especially anyone coming from that route. As you come down these stairs, please note that there is a in giant invisible wall here that stops you getting to that pole. As you can see, I'm wall climbing on something that isn't there. And um, my bullets are going through it, but there's an invisible wall. You can also get up here, which is probably one of the best hiding spots in this entire building for the bottom ground enemies. Coming from the stairs, they're obviously going to see you. And that is the end of Upmark. Let's get on to the next one. So now we've got the medical labs done. Let's check out the living quarters. As you can see, not much going on. It's all very blocky. You can get on top of a lot of this stuff, but there's very, like, the chances of you using it are like pointless the only one i would kind of recommend there you go you can get on top so when people come in and open the doors you're like basically completely covered because of that vent a lot of people aren't really going to look in this tiny gap because they won't suspect people can even get here now upstairs there's only two spots that i would recommend one is obviously the toilet <laughs> there's been a lot of times where i've managed to stay right here and there's been whole fights going on here by the stairs and they didn't know i was right here the whole time you just gotta be careful when people come in this way the next one is a classic from hg dugan i've watched quite a few of his videos he loves a classic hide behind the fridge meta and yeah this is one of those because I'd, I'm assuming this is a fridge, but yeah, a lot of people won't even see you when they're coming from any of those directions. It's just here you have to worry about. Now we have the free floor, what's this called? The apartments. The first floor, again, nothing in here, but it does have a pretty strong behind the door spot right here. Not a lot of people are going to suspect this. Other than that, as I said, not much in that room. As we go up to room one, though, the only room we have access to there are a couple little cheeky hiding spots. So for any, if you're wondering about anyone coming in through here, you can actually get inside and hide on top of the frying pan behind this fridge. So we got another fridge meta when it comes to that door there. Not so great for that door, but 
Again, we got another toilet tactic right here, and this is by far one of the strongest because this room in itself is a choke point, and then you've got this defense here, so you can end up peeking in and out like so, and you've only got to worry about people there as well. But yeah, this is this has saved my bacon quite a few times. Now, one city building I did want to do a quick little talk about is this open like market, yeah, the market style area, um, because a lot of people don't really like you wouldn't think this is a house but it's got a few hiding spots and it's kind of an enclosed area it's one of the common builders that appears a few times so i'm gonna have it in here now there are a few little spots the first one is up on this ledge if you do a little wall climb you can get on top of this ledge and this market sign has no physical form you can go straight through it which makes it perfect if you've got anyone coming from this side you can just wait here on this side as they go past quickly switch in case they look back and vice versa if you've got people coming from that way you can just hide like this hope they don't look up and carry on running past now you also have this sign in the middle section right here it's a little bit trickier because you have to go up this pole to wall climb um, which can be a little fiddly sometimes however there is one more hiding spot and it's right here these vending machines are quite wide that anyone running past is not really going to see any any legend except for like some of the bigger ones like Caustic and Gibraltar. Say for example you're running past, you do a quick look, you don't see anything, you carry on running. If you're coming from this direction, you're probably going to see them. But it does make for a good little behind the vending machine spot. But other than that, we're pretty much done with all the common houses. We're just going to start on individual locations next. So let me know in the comments where you want me to do a hiding spots video on. Where are you struggling to survive in? Where could you use a cheeky little hiding spot to heal up in? But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Especially, you know the drill. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.